Well, I mean, you're not making any sense here, okay? Now listen to me. Listen. I'm your big brother, okay? Now I'm telling you, you have to come home with us. But Puerto Arena is now my home. I'm not going to harmony with you or anywhere else. No, you have to. Listen to me, Mama is sick, okay? She is very sick. She might not make it. Right, and now that Antonio is gone, it's even more important to reunite the family. Did you hear Luis and Sheridan say they don't love me? I'm sorry. None of them do. I know this is hard to hear, but you don't mean anything to them. They're here because someone wants to see you, someone who's sick. Mi madre. Right. They think if your old lady sees you, she'll get better. But once she does, you're on the next red-eye flight back here to sunny Mexico. Aloma, we love you. I don't need your kind of love. Don't say that. You don't know how lucky you are to have such a caring family. I wish I did. Oh, oh, Sheridan, I'm so glad you're safe. Well, why wouldn't I be? Why? You know, you and Luis were gone so long, we just thought you might have, you know, gotten lost or hurt. What's going on here? Yeah, I'll tell you what's going on. My big brother here wants to take me back to Harmony. Only, I'm not going. I'm not doing anything my so-called family wants me to do. Well, what is wrong with you? Why are you being so stubborn? Why don't you come with us, with your family? None of you cared that I was family when you sent me away. Do you have any idea what it's like to grow up knowing that your family shipped you off like a box of old clothes they didn't want anymore? That's not how it was. Paloma, you have no idea how many times Mama cried herself to sleep because she missed you so much. <sighs> yeah, right. Paloma, she loved you. All right, we all loved you. You know how badly we all wanted you to stay? No, you didn't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have sent me away. If Mama really loved me, instead of crying about it, she would have brought me home. Paloma, would you just try and understand Luis. what was going on? Luis, remember what I said. Go easy on her. She's hurting. Listen, Paloma, I understand how you must feel. No, okay, you don't have you... a clue of how I'm feeling. You know why? Because you were one of the chosen. You got to stay. But Mama took a look at me and say, um, I don't need this. That's not true. She did need you, and she loved you desperately. In fact, there were so many times when I was jealous because she played with you so much more than anyone else. But after Papa had disappeared, things changed. There was no joy. There was no money. But there was enough money to raise you and Teresa and Miguel and Antonio. Really? Oh, you have no idea how many nights oh, we went without food. Well, a baby doesn't need very much. Mama did this for your future. She knew if you came and lived with Tia Maria, you would always have food and good clothes and go to a good school. And when she told us about her decision, she cried so desperately that I said I would go, but she said no. That you should go because you would never miss what you had never really known. Luis, she abandoned me. Listen, she clearly had to make a horrible decision. Yeah, it, it sounds like she certainly did what she thought was best for you. And she loved you very much. The same way your brother does. That's true, Paloma. No, no, I won't listen to this anymore. I will never go back to Harmony, okay? Never! Paloma, listen! Paloma. Paloma, would you stop, please? Let me go! No, just not until you listen to me. Okay, you're right. I, I don't know what it was like to be the one who was sent away. Okay, but you weren't abandoned. You, you were sent to live with a loving aunt. And besides that, you know, Puerto Arena doesn't look like such a bad place to grow up to me. Loma, please, just trust me when I tell you that my mom's decision to send you away was the hardest one she's ever made. 
Well, she made the wrong one. Okay, maybe in your mind she did. But I'm telling you, she did it out of love. Okay, she knew that Tia Maria could give you things down here that she could never have afforded back in Harmony. Luis is right. Your mother loves you very much. How do you know? Well, we know how often she called here. We know that she sent cards and letters and gifts. I mean, only someone who loves you very, very much would do that all the time. Look, that's true. Paloma, I have known your mother my entire life. And she talks about you all the time. Her home is filled with your pictures. But not with me. You know what? As much as that hurts you, trust me, it hurts her even more. That's true. I don't think a day goes by where Mama doesn't agonize over the decision that she's made. But Paloma, she thought it was best for you. You know, she even has a picture of you right next to her bed. So she can see you when she wakes every morning. You know, she even has one at the hospital. Really? We've waited a long time. A long time for you to come home, Paloma. So please, come with us. Come on, come be with your family. In the pictures, Harmony always looks so beautiful. Oh, yeah. it is. You're going to love it there. Teresa's going to be thrilled to have her sister back. And you were going to make Mama so happy. Paloma, she's sick. All right, the doctors, they don't even know how long she's going to make it. But I'm telling you, when you get back there, you're going to help her recovery. I know it, right? Mm -hmm. She needs you, okay? Especially now that Antonio is gone. We all need you. Remember what I told you. Don't fall for hearing what they say. It's all lies. Don't let them manipulate you. Why does she need me? Because she's sick and Antonio's dead. Now it's time to bring in the replacement kid. How can you even say that? If she was fine and Antonio was alive, you wouldn't be trying to bring me home, would you? Of course we would. The plan was always to bring you back to Harmony after you finished school. Mama didn't want to bring you back till after you finished your graduation, so we didn't separate you from your friends. Which would be so much worse than separating me from my family. Mama, I thought we already went through this. Well, you thought wrong. Go back to Harmony. I'm fine here with my friends. I don't need you or anyone else from my so-called family. this is crazy, okay? Mama is sick. Now, you are coming back to Harmony. I'm not going back to Harmony. I'm fine here. There's no way you can make me go with you. Paloma, Paloma, would you wait? Paloma, listen to me. Please. I don't want to hear anything else you have to say. Okay, look, you've got it all wrong. Okay, we always wanted you to come home and to live in harmony. He's telling the truth, Paloma. Paloma, look, it's, we never had the money, okay? That's a lie. What about when Teresa was married to Julian Crane? Look, it turns out Teresa was never even married to Julian, okay? Now, besides that, we didn't want to pull you out of school. Now, we could have never put you in a private school in Harmony like you have here. Bull! You were engaged to Sheridan. Antonio was married to her. She's got tons of money. Or couldn't you spare the cost of the plane ticket? All right, you don't ever talk to Sheridan like that again, you hear me? No, it's okay, Luis. She's just upset. You're right. Sheridan does have a lot of money. But that is her money, okay? It is not ours. <sighs> like she never spent a penny on any of the rest of you. If you really wanted me to come home, you would have done it a long time ago. But you didn't. And now it's too late. Paloma. Paloma. Paloma, open the damn door. Leave me alone! Paloma, open the door. Just go! Leave me alone! Paloma! Listen to me! Paloma, open the door! Luis, this isn't doing any good. Uh, Paloma is getting on that plane with us if I have to carry her. She is not a child. You can't force her to do anything she doesn't want to do. Look, just 
Give her time. She... Let her figure this all out for herself. I'm telling you, Paloma's coming back to Harmony with us. You know, Mama could be dying, and all that little brat cares about is some imagined slight. Yeah, like letting her grow up in paradise was the most horrible thing we could do. She never had a want for anything. Except her family. Look, just try seeing it from her perspective. The hell with perspective. Okay, our mother is sick. That's all that she should care about. I'm not saying that Paloma is right. I'm just saying that I know what it was like for me when my father sent me off to boarding school in Europe and never tried to see me. You know what? And I'll bet if we tried to take her back to Harmony any sooner, she would just whine about how we took her away from her friends and, and from her damn school. Yeah, probably. She's a teenager. Hating everything your family does and doesn't do just goes along with the territory. She's had this bottled up for years. Look, she'll come around. Just give her time. Mama doesn't have time. And you don't have a choice. Paloma is obviously not responding to your ultimatums. Your anger is just feeding hers. You're right. You know, you're right. She, she should have never been sent down here. We, we should be together, you know? We were a family. It's just... After my father disappeared, it was like we were cursed. I know how you feel. My mother's death did the same thing to my family. Yeah, well, your mother, she didn't have it. She didn't have a choice whether she lived or not. My father chose to leave. And when the blame for all the pain that Paloma suffered and all the pain that my family suffered is my father. Look, we don't know why your father disappeared, but you've always felt that Alistair was behind it, and you're probably right, so blame my father, not yours. No, my father ran out on his family like a coward, and I blame him for that. Look, we don't know why your father disappeared, but... Maybe, you know, my father killed Antonio, and maybe he killed Martin, too. I hope so. I hope my father is dead. Oh, honey, you don't mean that. Yes, I do mean that. At least if Alistair killed him, he's a martyr for the crane evil, not some sniveling coward who's ran out on his family. I'll tell you something. If my father is still alive and I run into him, I'll kill him myself. <laughs>